you've been requested to submit a verification of identity through InfoTrack for your representative. You'll receive an SMS code here with a link and also an email with the same link, which you can click and it will open your browser. From here, we'll give you some details of the firm who's requested this verification with their contact details. We'll scroll through and continue. And now ask for a two-factor SMS code. We understand this is quite sensitive information, so we want to make sure it's the right person accessing the right workspace to provide these IDs. From here, it takes you to our portal with some tasks. So depending on what's been requested, you might see the verification of identity, a client authorization form, a purchases declaration, and any, any other tasks listed here. We'll click in to start our verification of identity. At any time, if you do click out of this, you can click the link and jump back in picking up where you've left off. You'll see here for InfoTrack ID, it's giving you some information about exactly what's going to be captured. The steps may change depending on how this has been requested. We'll take a photo, we'll upload some ID, and then we'll review and submit. You may be asked to record a short video reading out a, screen, a number shown on the screen, or do a liveness check, but today we'll continue on with these steps. If you have a prompted to allow access to microphone and camera, please make sure this is allowed. And you can take or upload photos on whichever device you're using. Today we'll take a photo here of the selfie that we're doing. Again, make sure you allow access to all these security accesses so we can see exactly who's taking the photos. Once you're happy with your photo, you can save and continue. If not, you can hit retry or the trash can delete button and take a new photo or upload those. Moving on to the next step, it's now your ID. Again, depending on how this was requested, you may have a various combination of ID that's requested. So you'll see here the continue button, and it does give you some suggested icons of which IDs to provide. You'll see here the DVS option with a little logo. It will just be checking some information against national databases. To upload your driver's license, you'll see here again some really clear, concise instructions. Take a photo of the front and back. Make sure it's not blurry. There's no glare or rotation. Don't crop this. And then we'll take or upload that photo. We will read and interpret the photo and take out any information that's possible. So you'll see here, there was a bit of glare detected. We are asking that you retry this particular step, or if not, you can continue on. We want to make sure you're providing the right ID, the best quality the first time. And as we scroll through, you can see information has been pulled from that image into our form. If there's ever any information missing, just make sure you type that in. Now we can add the back of the license. Again, taking a photo of that back of the license. Double checking the information that's provided. Again, we've just said here, you may experience this, you may not, but we're just flagging. There was a glare, please take a better photo. Or the data match failed. You'll see I did enter in that card number where it was missing. Some flags to make sure that you're getting it right the first time. You can save and continue or action those items. From here, depending on the combination that's been requested, you will see these options change. And again, you can scroll through and upload whichever document will meet the rules that have been requested. Today we'll do a passport. And Again, some clear steps, just some suggestions on how to take the best photo, and then we will take or upload that particular photo of that ID. Get into any information that may not be pulled through, make sure it's a good quality photo, and continue on. So you'll see here, once you've provided the correct amount of documents, you will have the ticks and you can move on. There's a button here to add an extra document. If you have been asked for, for example, a Medicare card or uh, any other documents, you can upload additional documents here or continue on. If your names on the documents are different, for example, you've been married and the name on your passport is different to your license or vice versa, you can upload a copy of that marriage certificate or change of name document. If not, you can continue on and say, no, the names are actually the same. One of the last steps here is just to review everything. We're happy that the information is us, the photos, remember there might be videos as well, those IDs, they're all correct. 
nothing can be changed. If you do need to change, just click that pencil icon you can see there. It'll jump back to that particular step. If not, you're happy. Tick that box and continue on. Now we're doing a quick little declaration to say, this was me. I have provided my documents back to my representative. Scroll through, have a read through this information. Sign and submit. Once you've submitted your verification, it will take you back to that portal for your next tasks. If there have been additional tasks asked of you, you can continue on from there.